For seniors, often families just gravitate towards, we just wanted to put that one favorite portrait up and they do a smaller size. And we wanted to show how you can use a small wall, but showcase three incredible larger portraits, but in a square size just for something different. Well, welcome back everybody and Adam and I are now hanging out in his sales room at Miller Photography here in La Crosse, Wisconsin and we're going to talk about the theory and the, the idea about the redesign of this room specifically. Um, this room is very important to the success of a business, specifically your business because we're in your studio right now. So let's just talk about your process as you were going through and thinking about the different spots for this room. So let's start with the area that's underneath the TV. We we briefly discussed that before, how you had the four different sizes yeah. out there. So what has changed now? Well, it's obviously a focal point when clients are sitting on the couch and seeing their portraits up on on the TV that they, uh, they see those portraits right below. And so we wanted to showcase the right sizes. So now we've got um, 24 by 36 vertical portraits and kind of a custom sized acrylic in between to fit just right. But we wanted to showcase the right sizes for that wall but also the right finishes. So we're showing off acrylic in the middle and then we have two float frames uh, that we put on each side but we did a canvas float frame and a metal float frame just because those are probably our three most popular finishes with our clients and we want them to be able to see the one session printed on all three finishes. Right, and one thing that I do want to point out, and I know that we varied a little bit from our original conversation, the TV that's above, when you're looking at a horizontal image on the TV, it's almost the same size as the one that's underneath it now, correct? Correct, yep, yeah, it's pretty comparable, so. And then if you're looking at a vertical image on the TV, it's almost the same size as the vertical it images. Is, yeah. yeah. So it, it's just a, a reinforcement, if you will, for if you're looking at the TV and you want to see what it actually looks like, it's there, you know, just reminding you this is really what you should purchase. Yeah, we, we, and again, we went from those 16 by 20s to 20 by 30s, and again, now showcasing the size they see on the TVs, the size they see on the wall right below. Yep, absolutely. And that 16 by 20 is lovingly sitting over here, um, leaning against the wall now, so that's Well, and now we've good. paired it with, and we have had clients do that throughout years, 16 by 20s, even 20 by 30s, that they'll stand them up on some tabletop, lean it up against the wall, just have it as an accent piece. And then we've paired it with our acrylic blocks and our albums, and so it's just a kind of a nice bonus piece over there but no longer a featured wall portrait in especially in prime real estate in what you refer to as a sales room this yep. is where we do our presentations as, yep. as we call them yep exactly so <clears throat> explain for people that are watching like we are surrounded by beautiful portraits groupings large things as somebody who has done a lot of in-person sales how do you step into that conversation how do you get people to think about multiples? How do you do the suggestion during your sales session? Well, I think the first part is we go through all of the images, right? You're, we're showing our clients, let's say, 100 images on average, sometimes more or less, and we're going through the process of getting down to favorites, and they usually get down to about half the images that, that we show them, just because there's a lot of similarities in them. And so then they get it down to, let's say, their top 40 or 50 images, and then we start identifying what we call our top 10 list, the portraits you would cons consider for a wall portrait, the portraits you would consider to give away to the important people in your life. Mm -hmm. And when we get it down to that kind of eight or 10 or 12 images, we walk through all of the options with our clients for wall portraits, everything from clusters to single portraits to different sizes and finishes. And at that point, we're still not going through pricing, we're just trying to dream with them and saying in a perfect world, what might fit best in your home, now knowing that you've got your top 10 images, you've seen all the different sizes, the wall um, clusters, combinations, the different finishes. And as they discuss, they might say, I really love acrylic, I really love that cluster that you have right over here. And then we can start pricing out for them um, the things that they like the best. Yeah, and just to point out too, for everybody that's watching, you know, we're sitting in the spot where your clients sit. <clears throat> and from here, I'm looking at 
a really large grouping underneath the TV. I have a 40 by 60 standalone print to my right. I have the trio in the vertical space. This huge grouping is behind me, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes. You have tons of options within 10 feet of this couch without ever leaving the room. And I know that there's um, thought process behind that where somebody is going to naturally gravitate towards a thing. So when during your process and, and you're talking about multiples and building your top 10 list, and I like how you're, you're building that list of, let's not worry about price right now. Let's just talk about like what you really want to have for your wish. When do you or do you get up and walk them around the studio and say, this would be what I would recommend or this is where I would go with that? Well, it's at that time when we're starting to discuss with them and dream with them a little bit about what they might like. They might bring up certain things and I already know the combinations of how many kids do they have and what, or if it's a high school senior, but I, I know the favorites and I already know in my head what around the studio could fit for that. And so at that point, it's, it's kind of a give and take with them bringing up things and me suggesting other things. And if the time's right, then we take a little tour around the rest of the studio. We really tried to make sure everything in this room is every size is here, every finish is here. Sure, not every cluster option is in this room. Those, some of them are displayed in, out in our main area, but that would be the time we would take them through that process. And the reason I say I try to let them dream a little and pick things, they're not ever locking anything in. They're not saying that's my order. They don't know what the prices are yet. They're just saying I would prefer to have something like this. Mm -hmm. And then if they need to work their order down a little bit, we take that same idea and we try to keep it, but maybe we downsize it or we go to a different finish. And so we always assume they want the best to start. We let them talk and dream. And then we work with them through the investment if we need to, to bring it down a little bit if they need to. Right, and not be a, a high pressure sales right. per se. Um, so <clears throat> as you are discussing groupings and showing people all the different finishes, let's shift our attention now to this wall grouping that's behind us. Um, it's a large group. It takes up more than 10 feet. It's 12 different images made up of um, metals, there's frame prints, there's canvas wraps in there wonderful for an extended family. I know, you know, from talking with you that you do a lot of family sessions. So how are you going to sell that one? What, what is your prime audience for that? Well, and obviously it's an extended family and it, it will sell itself. And it's, I think I've worked with enough extended families. I've got extended families of my own. Mm -hmm. I think any set of grandparents coming in, seeing that would just, it kind of pulls at your heartstrings because it's like, finally, that's what I would look for. I would want I want a portrait with the grandkids. I want a portrait as a full family, but I want each of my separate family groups. I want their updated portraits and I want just their kids. And so, but finally to be able to do some combination where we can say, if you can design a space in your home that you have one wall that we can do that, we can design this. And it's easy enough too, as we designed that, we're, we made the option so that the side pieces, the squares on the sides, we could always take off if we need to reduce the width of the of the project. In fact, I think that's how it started. We did. And um, so we wanted to just design it with options, right? And then we wanted to showcase all the different finishes that we could do, not because we think families will want to multiply that many different finishes into a project, and they might, um, but we just wanted to show them, here's all the different surfaces you could print this on, so it's just easy to look at it and say, I like that, that finish, and I like it as is. Right. And yeah, and I think that it also gives people permission to do that. You know, if they're looking at that and seeing, you know, a metal framed and, you know, float or campus wraps, maybe they never thought of that. And if you would suggest it without actually showing it, right. somebody would be like, yeah, I'm not sure. And you'll see there's gold frames in there. And, and who would think to just put two gold framed portraits inside of a whole combination of 12 portraits, but it works really well together. So yeah, it works really well. So let's just take a moment here before we have to go. And let's talk about this vertical grouping here. Um, Cause I love how that turned out. Uh, and again, you know, we've all heard it before. I don't have any wall space. So this is going to be the perfect scenario for somebody who says, oh, I don't really have the wall space. Well, that's probably not entirely true because you know everybody has a wall that size. How many different ways could you think of to use that particular space or those sizes? Well, and like you said, the space isn't very big, right? It's a little over 30 inches wide, but we put three 20 by 20 um, the squares on it in a really nice thicker, thick frame. Is it called Gallery Grand, I yep. believe? Yes. Um, 
So we love the frame style, but for seniors, often families just gravitate towards, we just wanted to put that one favorite portrait up and they do a smaller size. And we wanted to show how you can use a small wall, mm -hmm. but showcase three incredible larger portraits, but in a square size, just for something different, so. Yeah, for sure. And as I'm sitting here, I mean, your eye is just naturally drawn to that. And I love how you know the image at the bottom is technically probably low for what you would consider for a design, but it works perfectly and it fits that space amazing. It does, we love it, yep. For sure. Um, and I don't want to not discuss your family portraits that are in this room. You know, we touched on that before. Um, you know, I know you guys did a recent vacation. You've got images of the kids that I can see from here. I'm looking right at your desk where you're going to be sitting with your kids there. I commend you for, for doing that and for being a great father, a great family. And I think that's awesome to have your children represented in the room. And then you also have your family portrait up in here. Um, that happens to be around the corner and that is a standalone 2030, which now looks very small in this room. <laughs> well, not only that, the wall it's put on, uh, the wall's probably 32 inches wide. So we maxed it out, we did a 30 inch wide print. Um, so it's the most you can fit in that very small space. Yep. Again, wanting to show people that you can maximize spaces, you can go with the width of the wall uh, in tight spases like that. Yep. Um, but yes, and obviously, in this room, showing a lot of larger portraits, a 20 by 30 does look quite small compared to everything else we have displayed here. And, yeah. and But it also depends on the image. The image of my family portrait that we just had uh, designed, we're a little bit further away, and on a 20 by 30 makes it look even smaller than something that might be a larger portrait. But, yeah. um, but yes, we and I wanted to make sure that my kids' portraits, my family portraits are all visible from where people sit on this couch so that they not only see different collages and designs and sizes and finishes, but they also have a personal connection to me as I'm sitting there at the desk with my family. Yep, absolutely. Well, I think that your space um, turned out wonderful. Um, we're excited to see how everything progresses for you, you know, for the rest of the year. It's merchandise well, um, it's clean, it's very easy to look at and decipher the things that you like. So um, thank you for doing this with us and taking the time to do all the video work with us today. We really appreciate it. And we wish you the best of luck and a massive amount of success for the rest of 2022 and beyond. So. Well, and I know I've said it before, but as a studio owner, we always look for that partnership with a lab and the relationships and so, um, my wife and I have said the same to your whole team, but we're grateful that we've got partners like White House who can work with a studio like ours and build together a kind of a successful program that we want to for our clients. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate that. And, and for everybody that's watching, thank you for joining along with us today. Um, like we said earlier, you know, the, the reason that we do these is we hope that we inspire and we hope that we spark, you know, an idea for, you know, doing something in your own space. And if there is something that you'd like help with, you know, reach out to us. We, we always love to hear um, what people are doing and see your ideas and thoughts about, you know, different product spaces, designs, all the things. So don't hesitate. So thank you for joining us. Thank you again, um, Adam, for having us. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed this series and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for checking out the fourth and final episode of Miller Photography's Studio Makeover. We hope these sessions inspire you to elevate your game. So if you're interested in more information or your own studio makeover, let us know. We'll set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation for you. In the meantime, you know the deal. Information below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.